Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a useful thing. Um, if you're using a PC, um, there's also something similar on a Mac. I don't use Macs, but I know that it does exist. It's uh, intended for people who have um, visual uh, difficulties. Um, and what it is, is if you're looking at this on your computer and you're looking at the text here, for example, and this is rather small. How do you, can you see if I do some little tweak here? How can you see what I've actually done? You know, if I say bring up the noise reduction here and I'm playing with the sliders here and changing these, what if you'd like to zoom in to, to see that? You know, perhaps you'd hit pause and then go in. And this is what you can do. If you go to the settings and in here, we've got ease of access and in here we've got a magnifier and you can look at this you can turn it on with the window windows key and the plus or if it, the plus is actually the uppercase so it's window windows key and equals effectively that works um, you can also hit that again to zoom in and windows key and escape just to turn it off again and there's a number of things that you can set here to play around with. I usually use the lens here uh, and this is the thing here because you can use it with other uh, videos as well you know looking at something else. It, gosh you wouldn't look at anything but Infinity would you? Anyway so if I hit the Windows key and plus or even just the equals underneath it what happens is this and like, this moves around with me so I can go over here and I can see this because a magnified form if hit the Windows key and plus again, it zooms into even more detail. Or the Windows key and minus back out again. And the Windows key and escape gets rid of it. If that was a little bit too big, I can use these controls down here, or even all this lot, to make it smaller. So now if I hit the Windows key plus, I've got something that's a little bit smaller. I can go down here because I can still use these controls. You go and I can do this so I can see what I'm doing. It's even useful if you yourself are looking at something going that's that's a little bit small and sometimes with high resolution displays things can appear small so you can actually use this just for doing things yourself. Um, it's also useful. Here's another one. If I'm doing curves and I'm just going to bring that down to here. So I've got a curves display like this. As I go over here, I am zooming over it. So this is the lab mode. If I want to guess, go say to A opponent here. And if I, if I do here, if because if I move the center, it changes, you can see behind you, the color cast. So you want to get that really accurately on the center. So by zooming in, I can effectively have a great big control here that I can see where exactly that is. So there you go, the magnifier is a really useful tool. Windows key escape, there you are, I've got rid of it. And you can use it to stop and look at videos and also to use it yourself to get in and be more precise about some of the things that you can do in Affinity Photo. So thank you very much for watching.